practice. All right, yep, yep, yep. Slow mo. Slow mo practice and hold your finish. And stay there. Yep. So right here, if this club feels like it's kind of like that. Right. And it's kind of your arms are stuck under your pecs right there. Right. And you got the tilt. Okay. So go back, keep them there, and then go back and then come back to that same spot. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Stay there. Do that five more times. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Now keep the right foot down if you can a little longer. There. Yep. Good. Yep. So that's what I want you to feel on this one. And then don't go any faster than that. Just go easy. Perfect. Perfect. Ultra repeatable, right? I mean, that's what. Oh sure. That's where I mean, it where it's at. That was a 106, just a soft turn. Mm -hmm. So now I want you to do one more pitch, and then I want you to come back, grab the driver, and I want you to rehearse that driver feeling, like I just showed you with the wedge. That's that's where the legs try to help. So keep keep them quiet. The job of the legs is just to hold the motor, you know, three feet off the ground. The motor turns above the hips. There you go. Which is really key. I want to make sure you take that as a takeaway. Right. Be below the bell is the platform. Above the bell is the motor. If the platform tries to help the motor, the platform's only going to move the yeah, motor so out of I position. Start my sh shoulder turn back down. That's when my hips will just naturally. They'll essentially follow right. rather than lead, right. which is some of the reason that before when your arms fell off the motor, your right. legs kind of tried to catch your arms back up to the right. motor. But we got to stick, we got to keep it above the waist. Yeah, so driver. And I want you to do those rehearsals and follow through. So when you go out to play, this is one of the things you're going to do. You're going to set up and then you're going to finish, right, just hold the finish, point the club at me though, and then tilt a little, yeah, right there, so start over, and then kind of, yeah, more that way. Yep, so the more you tilt your shoulders, the more the club's going to kind of fling upward, yep, that way. And then the more you round out your shoulders, the flatter it'll go around behind you. So we want to stay on that tilt. Yep, that's good. Yep, now hit the driver, just nice and easy like that. Yeah, that was it. That was a chip shot, right? That was perfect. Hit the ground, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we, we must have lost a little bit of angle or maybe the legs tried to help a touch. Yeah, maybe the legs tried to help. Yeah. Clean rotation, really good, really good. So the arms are following but connected. The arms are following the rotation but they're still stuck to the motor. And then I'll just have you go a little faster each time until, let's see if we can blow the motor up. <laughs> All right. right? So rotate the shoulders and just see if you can stay connected. Yep, I like that one. But you have clearance, well, they just think of this in engineering, right? If you have this motor and you got this attachment to the motor, if you crank it up and the connection's solid, you can just kind of crank that thing up as fast as you want. But if the connection's loose, then something bad's gonna happen. separations on that one. The arms barely separated. It wasn't the arms weren't the bigger issue. Right. The legs were the bigger issue. Okay. So what we had was a, a mini disconnection of the arms to the motor. Okay. But what made it more catastrophic was that the legs, the platform, right. was moving. Yep, so keep your feet more locked into the ground. Cleaner rotation. I feel like if I feel this, yeah. And I do it. 
Yeah, so in fact, we'll refine that thought. So do that, um, put your put your club across your shoulders. Yep, and now get kind of in your golf stance. Do the shoulder back, do the shoulder through. This is what we need to refine. Just keep this down. So how far beyond impact can you go with the foot down? So we gotta freely let the motor get past the right leg. If the right leg kicks up, the platform is compromising the motor. So I've got to get through the ball before my heel comes up. Mm -hmm. what you're saying. Exactly. So do the backswing. You got beyond. Keep going. You got beyond, and that foot didn't come up. Right. So I want you to go beyond, and that foot's going to stay down too. So he's going to well, that's a up. different feel. Is like bending my knee in here instead of turning it Turn up my... yeah yeah so this is a refinement the bigger issue was the attachment was flying right. off the motor but well, you got that the right. attachment just don't let it fly off right but if the platform is top teetering around the motor right. isn't going to be clean okay so as you do these rehearsals that's what i want you to feel so as i've been having you kind of do the half back half through so it's like half back half through Make sure that that back foot stays down also. There you go. Yeah. 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 So I'll show you. So come on over here. And let's see here. We'll have you take this saber. Put this across your shoulders like that. Okay. Come on over here. <clears throat> Stand kind of where my feet are right here. Okay, come in a little closer. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. A little more. Right there. Now rotate your shoulders down. Yep, yep. Good, now come in so that you can push this on the back. So come in real close to that chair. Good. Now turn the other way. Right, so that's your back swing. Now come in on your down swing. There. Yeah, and you're right. If I want to really launch, this is what I do. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, if I was if I was telling if I was you weights, I would Yeah. And if I told you I need you to push this cart forward right. for me, you're not gonna disconnect your foot and go up on your toe. No, I'm not gonna do this. Not gonna do that. No. You're gonna ground and that's gonna give you some pressure through the right. through the ground. So, go, swing the saber over here for me. So go heavy end, which is, yep, right there, it's heavy. All right, so stand in this space here. So I hold the... Hold the heavy, yep. So it's gonna feel heavier. Now do your turns, and then come through, but leave that foot okay. down. There you go. Yep, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, so that foot, go ahead and, and do your reverse swing here. Come back to kind of here. Right now, if I said lift me off the ground in the way of the swing, that foot's going to have to stay there to right. do that. Right. doesn't make any sense for you to kick that up because then you Yeah, can't... I mean, I feel it more here. Yes. Right here, I feel like... Your glutes. I'm contracting this glute. And... And, right. Right, your obliques glute. Right. So when you see... Um, here, hold this. We can film show you so this is what a lot of commentators will focus on with rory mcelroy is they'll, they'll focus on his left glute so what you'll see is you'll see here then you'll see this right and you'll see that right so it's here right and then his butt cheek does this <laughs> Like and then a release is, yeah. Track, release. And yeah. so when he hits, it goes. It has right. A wiggle to it. Okay. That's what's happening. So right. through the ground, here, it's here, here, and it's gone. Right. And then everything comes up. Okay.
mm -hmm. put down there you go <clears throat> put down good okay now uh, grab the end that says light so I just read light snap just read it double check it uh, yeah light snap right now go to your back swing and stop hear that ball yeah now flip your shoulders get the click leave that foot down okay there and flip it there you go so and basically the faster you rotate the louder that click will get try it so keep your foot down let it set no don't hinge up yep leave it there and then there you go yeah there so that's how you can core it with your okay. obliques and glutes try again go halfway back a little pair right there and then core it there it is so there's a push but it's a right the only reason why your hip and your glutes quads hamstrings activate is because the motor above is torquing and right. you need connection you need something to connect you to the ground right. you don't want to push off the ground you want to push into the ground right okay. yeah so then grab your driver and then do that same kind of straight arm yep yep there and then there that's it yep yep so now grab the saber again grab the light end yep now go halfway back All right now stop there that ball that's in the shaft of the saber rolled down right that tells me that that power is stored. Right. So you don't have to have all of this to get more power. Right. It's already stored. Then when you crank it the other way, you get the click, you get the centrifugal force happens without really a lot of risk. Now, it is a lever. Right. If it does hinge, there's potential for more speed. Right. But for you, what we got to do is just make sure that motor stays connected before we add speed. Right. And when we add speed, it's only going to be hand speed, not arms. arms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's try a couple more drives for the video and then we'll do them just like you did the Sabre where you take it back, barely get a little angle okay. and then turn through it. So go and stop as if that ball's rolling and then turn. That's it. Mm -hmm. So now what'll happen is in real swing, the reverse momentum will take you two feet beyond where you stopped. Right. But this is sure. the drill. So yeah, try another one. It's exactly the same drill. Pretend it's a saber and it's just gonna stop there. The reason why there's such a long pause with the saber is it forces you to actually be ready and then activate. Right. It's not just a recoil. You actually have to activate. So you go back halfway, pause, and then recoil. There you go. Mm -hmm. One more. And then you can just do full, full length of rotation. So then, you know, we're adding more turn, but not really much more arms. Yeah, one more drill. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now don't stop. You can just go, you know, basically full length, but not necessarily full power. Kind of max out the rotation, but don't kill it. Good. Yeah, one more like that. So see. Yes, the shoulders, yeah. shoulders pulled it, so then tip the shoulders under. You got to do that oblique crunch a little more. Yeah. All right, now you can go faster.
go. It was really straight ball. Nice. My wrist cocked at all. No, no wrist. Yeah. So when you're thinking like, so that was a 263 drive, 225 carry, 263, pretty nice flight, 2600 RPM, so it's appropriate for getting the ball to land and release. Um, when you turn the motor and you don't use your hands, Let's say you're playing a course that's really short, narrow, right. lots of trees. That's just how you keep it straight. Right. Super windy, keep it straight. Right. Then when you crank the motor, create a lever, and then snap it through, then you have rotation of shoulders, then you have angular momentum of the club, and then boom, then it takes off. Right. So then you're over 300 because you've got the motor cleanly rotating and then the wrist snapping. Um, but obviously for golf, for playing the game, you can then take this swing and pitch your pitching wedge out there anywhere from 100 to 180, <laughs> right. depending on how much you do the motor. So what are your takeaways for the video that you want to capture on, re record on here? The main thoughts that are re think, resonated? Um, the main thing is, uh, first of all, keeping my arm under my pack. Mm -hmm. And then, sort of contracting this oblique on the way back down. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. if I do that, I don't have to think about my legs. Yeah. So I'm just thinking about doing that on the way down, mm -hmm. as opposed to, yeah. you know, I've got to open my hips, I've got to do, <laughs> do that. Right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so actually do an exercise for me. So put the ball on the ground. Take your right hand and put it out on this side. Right now, tilt like you're going to go into your setup. Right now, again, like if we had cable cross going on here, contract the oblique. Boom. And now see how you put your hip in the right position. Right. And what happens is that basically stays there. So contract, slingshot, then it releases. Right. So it's like boom, boom. That's how the arm flies past the contraction and then the acceleration. The hip kind of braces, stays there. That's where we get in trouble is when the platform keeps moving right. instead of stopping momentarily to let everything else kind of fly past. Yeah. So that's good. So pecs and then oblique crunch. And then what else? Anything else? Um, my foot, my right foot. Yeah. Basically, I'm trying to push off. I mean, not put, like... Push into, kind of the ground, into, yeah. This is all part of the same motion. Really. Yes, yep, yeah. And then a telltale on the follow-through is when you've come through on this side, if you kind of get a little recoil, because right. as as this arm has stayed under that peck, this arm has now stayed under that peck. Right. If this arm kind of flies off, right. we don't know where it's going. Right. So, all right, good. Let's put it all together. Hey, that'll work. Nice. Yep. Not not full power, but what else do you need? You don't really need much more. Get you in the middle of the fairway every time like that. Yeah, I mean, that I would like, but I would like to be, you know, to complete the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so get, get a solid platform and then work the motor better. Now that's even better. <laughs> so that was excellent motoring, very passive platforming. Plus we got a little angular kick in there. So your club head speed jumped up and you got the 270. Now if you really want to crank it, that's when you do the motor plus the hands. Right, so let me try that. Yeah. So the motor won't break with the wrist at extra speed. Yeah, pretty close, pretty close. You notice how the platform got a little compromised, yeah. lost a little balance, so they get the speed wobbles. So that's your tolerance as you test your threshold for for consistency, you crank the motor, right? right? It's just like that washing machine, throw all the towels in one side and turn it on and right. see if it wobbles all over the place. Okay. And once you're really good at doing that, then you get your 
your all your slingshot speed and your consistency. Oh yeah, really nice there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like I took a very hard swing at that. Good. But. Good. And and this the, the good news about what we're working on here is if you want to do a 30-yard pitch over a bunker, right. it's the same thing. It's just the motor is doing smaller range and slower. Right. It's just on easy speed instead of full speed. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Yep, so you let your arms... Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yep, 270. Yep, right at like 97 miles an hour in that one. Good. Yeah, so you test the threshold. Got a little extra wobbles on the platform. Right. Yep. And you, you're, I know your speed is going to keep going up and up. That was 282. And right. so as you get this going, and as you're doing it, it's 282 off of a driver that we added two extra weights to. So right. it's like the, the good news about this is the motor can carry a white alignment stick or a sledgehammer. Right. 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 And it doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a heavy tool that's attached or a light tool, as right. long as the motor has its movement, right. it's gonna like I could just like a weed whacker, I could attach a weed whacker, right, and just trim, right, right? or attach a, like a big heavy arm as if I'm knocking right. down trees. You know, it's right. the same thing. Cool. All right. Very good.